They were going to make chicken with a basquet sauce. Sweet, sour, smoky, and a little bit spicy. This dish has it all. And if you're new around here, please make sure to subscribe for further recipes and techniques. We're going to begin by making some parsnip chips. Make sure that you've removed all the skin from the parsnip, and then continue shaving off strips of parsnip like this. Next, you're gonna fry these chips in oil at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, this goes without saying, but please be careful when you're cooking with hot oil. Also, something else to keep in mind is that if you ever see that your oil is about to boil over, just simply lift the thing that you're frying out of the oil for a few seconds and it should solve the problem. So once your chips are nice and crispy, remove them from the oil and put them on a paper towel. Season well and put aside for later. Now we're going to start our basquet sauce. Get a hot pan, a bit of olive oil, and we're going to start cooking our onion first. So this is one onion, thinly sliced. Add a tiny bit of salt, and we're going to sweat this for a few minutes. So now we're going to add our bell peppers. I'm using half of a red pepper and half of a yellow pepper, and I've cut them into strips the same size. Now we're going to add about a tablespoon of smoked paprika. We're going to cook this down for about another minute. Now I'm going to add a pinch of saffron. Now I'm going to add one clove of chopped garlic. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of sherry vinegar. And we're going to let that reduce and cook down for about another minute. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of crushed tomatoes. We're going to cook this for about another two minutes and it should be ready. And there we are, that's exactly what we want. So put this aside while we cook our chicken. Get a hot pan, put a bit of olive oil in there, and a tiny bit of butter. Now add some saffron. You can use either saffron threads or powder. Now take your chicken breast and make sure it's well seasoned. Put it skin side down in the pan. And press the chicken breast for a few seconds to make sure it's nice and flat. We're going to cook this on low to medium heat for about 15 minutes. Throw in one garlic clove. It's been about seven minutes and we're gonna flip this chicken breast. So we've rendered all the fat out of the chicken skin and it's nice and crispy, it has a nice color. And now we're going to start basting. So it's been about another seven or eight minutes and we're gonna turn up the heat, continue to baste. So I've just used a cake tester to check my chicken and it's definitely cooked. If you're using a thermometer, it should be about 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to finish with some black pepper. Now we're going to take the chicken breast and put it aside and let it rest for about 5 to 10 minutes. Remember to take a little bit of the liquid out of the pan and spoon it over the chicken. And we're just going to cover it with some foil or some butter paper until we're ready to serve. So it's been about 10 minutes and now we're ready to portion our chicken. It's very important to rest your meat before you cut into it. You need to let the piece of meat relax. If you cut into it right after you cook it, all the juice will come right out. Okay, so now we have the moment of truth. Just look at that, perfectly cooked. Nice, juicy, crispy skin, perfect. So now we're going to start plating. So we're going to carefully spoon some basque sauce onto the center of the plate. And 
Now I'm just going to put a few dots of mayonnaise. This is optional, by the way. Now I'm going to add some broccolini flowers, which I just had in the garden at the moment. You could also use some fresh herbs to garnish the dish as well. That would be another good option. Okay, so add the chicken portion on top with the parsnip chips, and you're ready to serve. This dish is extremely versatile. You can change the garnish to just about anything you want, and it will still be delicious. So give this dish a try sometime. You will not be disappointed. If you have any questions or opinions, please write them in the comment section and I'd be happy to address them. Well, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking!